I've used Pro Tools for many, many years now, and it's just an extension of me. I'm very comfortable in the environment. Now, obviously, all DAWs have their quirks, but I strongly prefer Pro Tools to any other DAW, and I much prefer to work in Pro Tools to any DAW. The ability to have hardware inserts that are sample accurate is very important to my workflow. And uh, import session data is very, very important on any big project. I'll always try to mix the biggest and most complicated cue first, and that will help outline the sound of the score. And then from there, I'll make a really big mix template. And from there on, I'll import session data to get the next cue into that template to create a new cue. And that way, my mix is sort of 80% there, 70% there, and then I'm polishing, and I'm not having to reassign to make the stem mix, and I'm not having to reassign to get the proper reverbs to go to the right place. It's there. So I can just forge ahead and polish and get the next piece of music done. Because every project has a, a budget and a deadline, and I need to work through it quickly and efficiently. For professional recording studios, Pro Tools is the standard. When I go to a recording studio, it's going to have Pro Tools. And so all the cues get prepared into a Pro Tools format, no matter where they're coming from, out of the Composer's DAW. And with Pro Tools, we're able to open up the session very quickly. We've got the reference picture, dialogue, sound effects, all the Composer's pre-records, and we can very quickly and efficiently record different takes in there, playlist the different takes. And usually the Pro Tools operator will do edits, and from the time the conductor has walked from the podium into the booth, the edits will be done. The cue will be edited together from various takes with the orchestra or whatever the ensemble would be. During the score mix of Elysium, sometimes there'd be a certain rhythm track or a certain sound design element that Ryan had done. A certain rhythmic thing that was very important to the score didn't exactly groove quite right with the strings, the live strings. Now, the live strings were great, but sometimes there's a feel. And so Ryan would request that certain sections of the strings fast 16th note kind of stuff, would get very carefully shifted to line up rhythmically with a pre-existing pre-record. Now, I worked with music editor Dave Lawrence. He was off-site a lot of the time, but I could simply text him or call him and say, hey, can you open up this cue? Can you elastic audio these string parts to fit better with this pre-record? Or sometimes one pre-record part to another pre-record part, stuff that's coming out of Ryan's studio. And he could do that in a matter of minutes, and what he would do is he would send me those tracks in a Pro Tools session, but I want to be clear, he's not actually sending me audio. He's simply sending me a Pro Tools session. All I would do is open up that Pro Tools session, take a, a minute to re-render the audio, and then I would save it, close that, open up my mix that was already well 